hello there god bless you you are welcome in the name of jesus this is prophetic intercession with amel my utmost privilege each time god blesses me with a prophetic message god bless you if this is the first time you're clicking on my video i acknowledge you thank you for doing that please check to see if you're already subscribed if not go ahead and touch that subscribe button god bless you as you do that in the name of jesus I want to take our time to appreciate all the partners or will I say the members of this um, um, channel or the members everyone that has subscribed to the membership of this channel I want to take our time to say a very big thank you to you thank you so much the membership to me gives a sense of family there are so many people who come in and out of the channel they pass the view prophetic messages and they, they pray with us and um, they are not members of this platform. Members are people that they say we are not just passerbys, we are, you, you have become a part of our family and want to identify with you. I, 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 I do not take it for granted. Thank you so much for believing in me to that extent that you want to make me family. I consider that we are already a family. We might not be 100 but the few people that have subscribed you mean so much to me or the few people that have and yeah, subscribed to the partnership you or membership you mean so much to me thank you so much god bless you and of course i know there are some people you're in countries where you cannot um you cannot actually subscribe to membership but you love and believe so much in the grace of god upon my life i do not take it for granted Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. All of them are equally as important to me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This prophet is what I'm about to give. I feel bad about it, but it is what it is. It's not a thing of joy that um, this kind of thing should happen, but it is what it is. An, an entire family is going down because of what this person did to you an entire family will go down because of what one person did to you you know actually that is who god is when god loves someone and they try to rubbish the person i mean god's fury comes down like nothing you've known before that is why he says touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm once you touch the anointed of the lord and or you try to harm his prophet god will not take it um, lightly look at what happened to daniel after the people who teamed up against him the people who tried to uh, 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 set him up to make sure that uh, he falls into the trap and 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 he's been put in into the lion's den when god delivered him from the lion's den when god delivered him that the lion did not devour him what king darius did i mean whenever i read that part it is scary that someone who knows nothing about what happened they were not in on the ploy against daniel the only crime they committed is that they were connected to these people the bible says the king took the people who teamed up against daniel there were 122 of them and their wives and children did you see that let's 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 let's, let's look at it Daniel chapter 11, chapter 6, rather, verse 24. It says, The king then gave a command, and those men who had maliciously accused Daniel were brought and thrown into the den of lions. They, their children, their wives, and before they reached the bottom of the den, the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. Did you see that? Their children and their wives did nothing wrong. All they did was to be associated with the people that plant evil against Daniel. It is very important for you to watch your associations. 
and God will stop at nothing to bring judgment to, to the people. I mean, clearly, this is clearly what the Bible says about touching not the anointing of the Lord and doing his prophet no harm. Daniel was a servant of the Most High God. Daniel loved the Lord and served the Lord against all odds. Even when a decree was passed that no one should pray to another God, he was faithful to pray even though it had repercussions. And when their setup backfired, I want to think that God worked in this king to bring judgment upon the life of these people that stood against Daniel. That is what God is capable of doing for his anointed, for his beloved. God can wipe out an entire lineage just for you. That is how important you are to God. That is how great you are to God. And I feel really sorry for the wives and children of these people because they did not deserve what happened to them. They did not deserve the judgment that came upon them. But there is something, there is something about association. There is just something about association. You've got to be careful with the kind of people you associate with. Did you remember what, um, um, is it Pilate's wife, Pontius Pilate, what his wife did? His wife, well, his wife told him, no matter what happens, do not get involved with the killing of that man speaking up about Jesus she told him no matter what happened don't get involved and Pilate took water washed his hands and said I am not a part of whatsoever you want to do against this man Pilate was free exonerated because he had a wife that could advise him against doing anything evil against Jesus or to Jesus Maybe if one of these men confided in their wives about their plans against Daniel, they would have advised them. They would have become the voice of reason to tell them not to be associated with such uh, 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 an atrocity. But the good news is, that is how valuable you are to God. He would go under and beyond to fight for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is giving this assurance to someone. Maybe there are some people that have teamed up against you and you feel like you are alone. Don't worry. There is nothing they will do to you that will go unpunished. Not only they will be punished, but even the people that are connected with them or the people that are connected to them, they will go down. They will all go down for your sake. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. Jesus' mighty name, amen.